it's still going. Where's it gonna go? Okay, hey everyone. I lost my voice this week, but I'm still gonna do a video. Hey everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own sugar rocket. This was mostly inspired by King of Random's sugar rocket video. So if you want to take a look at his, I'll put the link to the video in the description but I've customized this for a different size. His was much bigger. It would go roughly 2000 feet and I'm gonna do this in a park. So I'm going to go anywhere from 500 to 700 feet. It's pretty much the same steps, just scaled down a bit. So what I have here is I have five eighths inch PVC and I'm also going to make one the same size clear tubing so you can see it and then I have a 5 8 inch dowel. So first thing you want to do is this is two and a half inches long and then what I've done is marked the different stages here on my dowel which I'll put these in the description and I've converted this to millimeters for all of you non-Americans. It's just so much easier to work with decimals than fractions I mean anyway. The first mark is roughly nine millimeters. That's gonna be our ejection charge. The next mark is roughly nine and a half millimeters. That's gonna be our clay. The next mark is the delay at four millimeters. Then we have the white mix at roughly 32 millimeters. And then another layer of clay at nine and a half millimeters. This is a 5 8 inch dowel. Mark those on the dowel. Now it's time to pack powder. So first step is the clay, which is unscented kitty litter. We're going to take a funnel and we're going to insert the clay. This clay has been blended with a mixer. Then just take a mallet and give it tin wax. Now it's onto the white mix, roughly 22 grams of white mix. So this white mix is hydroscopic, meaning it absorbs the air. So I put it in a bag to keep the air out because I put it in the oven and I baked it for 30 minutes at 300 degrees, like King of Random. And now we're gonna add 22 grams of this. And I used a blender to blend it up first. 12 grams of powdered sugar. This is the propellant. Potassium nitrate is your oxidizer. You don't wanna blend this. You just wanna manually shake it. And you wanna shake it really well. Probably shake it up for 30 seconds, I'd say. We are going to pack approximately 32 millimeters. Now we're on to the delay mix. Seven grams white mix, one gram of baking soda. And then we're gonna wanna mix it up. So the baking soda slows down the burn in time for, for the ejection of the parachute. So it should give you about five seconds during the apogee. Of, that's when that burns. And then it will then charge the gunpowder to kick out the parachute. All right, so we're gonna put in about four millimeters Okay, now it's about 10 centimeters of clay. There you have it. Now ready to drill the hole. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a 530 seconds bit and I've marked about an inch and a quarter this goes a little bit further than the King of Random. The King of Random just hits the white powder. I actually go a little bit further. So make sure you drill straight in and do it slowly. I'll probably do the rest by hand. All right, it's ready to go. In order to light this, I just taped a lug that I 3D printed onto here. We're just gonna tape that on there like that. I hope you enjoyed this video of my custom rocket engines that I attached to my 3D printed rocket. Let me know if you've tried this project or if you have any additional ideas that I can do to make this even better. This has been a blast.